Hey guys, welcome back to Lori Farm. And today we're gonna be harvesting some fall crops. Um, it's like 85 degrees, so it doesn't feel like fall, which is crazy, but it is. And all of our fall stuff came up great. So we can start right over here at the beets. We have a ton of them and they're looking good. We're gonna pick a couple for dinner tonight. Yeah, and they're still looking really, really good. Um, one thing I like about beets is they are good like three seasons out of the year. So you can do them for spring, you can do them for fall, you can do them for summer. And they're a quick growing crop. They don't take too terribly long. And you can do a variety of things with them. Like, you know, pickled beets, which those are pretty good. You can also make sweet beets. And you can just roast them or fry them even. Yeah, these are looking good. So they're a good crop for Minnesota especially, and if you're a beginner. Our tomatoes are still producing and doing wonderfully. They are one of those fun, oops, well, we won't eat that one. Good thing we have an abundance. The one thing I like about tomatoes is, um, at least over here, not only do they do really well, and there's uh, plenty of variety, from the way we get done at the year, I kind of just throw everything into the woods. So it's crazy to me how many tomato plants we have just growing in random places. Earlier, I was down on the dock just admiring the pond's beauty. And I noticed there is a tomato plant actually sprouting through um, the base of the, the dock, which was kind of funny and a little bit surprising, but really pretty. It's more pretty. My basket's overflowing now. I probably should have brought a bigger one down. Um, I also did lettuce this fall and some radishes, which those came up great. Radishes I like also because um, they're fresh and they're crisp and you can just eat them raw or throw them on a salad. They're really quick growing. They're like three, four weeks and then they're ready to harvest. You do want to watch them though because if they get too big, they kind of get less flavorful and they're not as good and I like them to have the most flavor. So I try to pick them around the three week benchmark. But these ones are doing good. We'll have those tonight. We also did um, some lettuce and that popped up nicely as well. So we can just throw this together with the radishes and that'll be a good side dish for dinner. Generally, I don't like to pull these. I like to um, clip them, but I forgot to grab my scissors, which is shocking if you've watched most of our video videos. I'm always forgetting something when I come back here, which is one thing I do want to add to um, this greenhouse that Shane built is I do want to have like a little toolkit back there for all the times I do forget, like with my gloves and my scissors and my pruning stuff, which I'll probably set up next season since this one's pretty much over and there's no point in putting it all back there in the winter, but I think I am gonna make a little toolkit area. So I also have snap peas growing, which was kind of funny because when we got planting this year, I got going and um, I was like, oh my God, I forgot snap peas. And they're one of our favorite things to eat because they're delicious and they're quick growing too and not a lot of work. So I was pretty bummed that I forgot to get them planted. And then I came back here and we cleared out the carrots and I had a snap pea plant that's been producing really well. Um, really crisp and delicious. But yeah, it's funny how you plant things last season and they just sprout up this season. So it was nice since I forgot that we still had plenty of them and they're good. So we're in the greenhouse back here that we built, the permanent greenhouse. And my peppers, as you can see, are still doing great. I got plenty of red ones. So we gotta get these picked. And my regular sweet peppers did really good as well. I got some orange ones and these things have doubled and tripled in size, which is a little bit shocking because it's kind of late in the season, but um, cause it's been so hot, they've done really, really well. I mean, a pretty good haul. So my sweet peppers, they're the orange ones. 
They're good for lunch boxes. These ones did really well this year as well. This one I'm gonna let orange up a little bit. My green peppers are getting big. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of stuffed green peppers in our future here. It's amazing how well these did this season and how they keep growing. My blueberry plants was a new addition this year as well and they did really great. They're finally done, so I'm gonna have to get these covered for winter so they stay for next summer. And the one thing we didn't ever get transplanted was my black raspberry bush. And as you can tell, it's exploded and just grown everywhere, which is really cool. But it's like it came alive and just kind of took over, planted itself right in here and is sprouting new ones. As you can tell, it's got a baby one growing. So we need to get the, these back ones filled next year so I can plant that one because it looks like buying one was plenty. It's going to spread and have plenty of more grow out through here. So I'm excited for that next season. So it's not too late to enjoy a great fall harvest and we'll still be harvesting for a little while until frost comes. If you want to check out one of last year's harvests, you can check it out right here.